everyone, I hope you're all well. It is ridiculously early in the morning. Mark is here, making breakfast. <laughs> so today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. Firstly, because I normally vlog like weekly style, but this vlog is just going to be of today because I've got a very exciting day planned. And secondly, because I've partnered up with Kinder Bueno on this video to do their try a bit of different challenge, and I'm basically going to do exactly that so i'm going to do something later today that is completely out of my comfort zone like how i'm trying to like ramp up the anticipation <laughs> even though you guys have obviously seen the thumbnail one of the best bits about working with kinder bueno is that you have to try the product and look at it to check this out a lovely box full of bueno got some white chocolate ones in there got some milk chocolate ones in there this box was obviously um a bit more full but what can i say i'm a bit of a fan now mark and i have very different tastes when it comes to chocolate bars but it's actually one of the few that we agree on you like it aren't you you're a fan too it is actually one of my favourites. But we don't agree on how to eat it. No. How do you eat it? Just like, chomp it down. Chomp it down. Whereas yeah. I, I like to take off the wafer and then like scoop out the hazelnut centre and whenever I eat it, Mark is just like... Shaking my head. Are you team chomp or are you team scoop? Team chomp? Team scoop. So Mark's just having his toast and then he'll be off to work. Bye everyone. Hope you enjoy this video. And I'm actually off to the gym, so see you in a bit. You probably already guessed from the thumbnail, but today I'm going go-karting and I am so <laughs> excited. I've always wanted to go go-karting for like years and years and years, just never had the opportunity, so very excited for today. And I'm just massively into driving at the moment. I only passed my test like two years ago. I learned when I was 17, but I failed my test three times it ended with me mounting a roundabout and obviously failing my third and final one and I was like no that is it so it was only a couple of years ago that I took it back up again and I was like I really need to learn to pass and now I'm just hugely into driving so what better time to have like a driving experience day go-karting extravaganza and probably the thing that I'm most excited about is that I'm actually doing it with my sister she's actually always wanted to go go-karting as well she had a rest day so I was like yeah why not? Let's have a little sister day out. Like normally we just go to the gym or go around each other's houses. It'd be quite fun to do an actual day, like go somewhere with her. And of course there's going to be a bit of a sister competition going on. Of course we're naturally competitive with sisters. It's interesting because Megan's definitely more of the badass one out of the two of us. Like she is well hard. If you follow her on Instagram, you'll know that she's really into like fitness. She's really strong. She's a bit of a badass, but she is so slow at driving. We call her the turtle. And I, I'm really, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I think that my chances are okay at beating her, but it's currently the school holidays and I don't know if anybody else is gonna be on the track. And if there's some like young, cool teenagers there, like me and Megan are both gonna be at the back of the pack. <laughs> but I'm just gonna pick her up and then we're gonna head up to London and have a very fun day. And this is my sister, Megan. You should follow her on Instagram. I'll put her, I'll put her Instagram link below. Cause like I said, I've already like done an intro to you and said that you're a bit badass. I said that the <laughs> gun show. We were just talking about go-karting and Megan was saying, did you say that you think it's gonna be quite hard? Mm. Who's told you that it's hard? Uncle Ian did. He said there's some, he used this really fancy word, but there's something in the wheel thing where when you turn, like in a car, one of the wheels will slow down, like as you turn. Right. But he said with go-karting it doesn't, so the wheels are still turning just as quick. And okay. so you have to like really like fight. Oh, yeah, it's head is quite hard on your shoulders and your wrists. It's not outside, is it? Because it has just started to rain. I don't know. Because <laughs> I haven't got any kind of water. If so, we'll be wearing a see-through poncho, one of those. We might get to wear it all things. in one. Oh yeah, they'll give us one of those zip up like boiler suit things, won't <laughs> they? <laughs> well, that's an Instagram just waiting to happen. <laughs>
I got overtaken every lap. I do bet, I only came eight. We got to have another go. So we did it twice. And I didn't suck so bad. <laughs> you were much better the second time. She overtook well me done. and I was so close to overtaking her and then they stopped the race. So I was like, Okay, so final thoughts and feelings on the matter. That was absolutely awesome. <laughs> it was so fun. Again. I was saying to Megan, I was like, I want to do this for every like birthday I have for the rest of my life. It was just so, it was so fun. And also, I noticed this when Megan was in the loo. Um, so we had like the little scorecards. And in the first race, you came 10th out of 11th. You didn't come last. 10th out of 11th. <laughs> and in the second race, you came 10th again, but it was out of 13 people. Was it? Oh, yeah. Was 11. No. Yes. There you go. I don't know if I picked it up, but at one point I was going, we're in a race. We're in a race. I was like screaming because there was there was a real like sister she overtaking came moment. She me and she was like, see ya. <laughs> serious case of helmet hair going on. <laughs> but I just dropped my sister back. I also went and saw my parents. They fed me, which was great. And my mum had just baked muffins from Tanya's book. They were absolutely delicious. My sister and I also tried to convince them that going go-karting for my birthday would be a really good idea, including my mum. My dad's up for the idea, my mum not so much, but I really want to make that happen. And now I think I'm going to do a little bit of yin yoga. I feel like I need to stretch it out. I've done a lot of driving today. I think tonight I'm going to use a yoga with Adrian video, so I will link that down below for you. But it just makes me feel all like stretched out and nice and relaxed and kind of ready for bed because it's quite late already. So do that, take off makeup, straight to bed. So I'm all stretched out and it's time to eat this before Mark gets home to judge me for my strange ways of eating it. But let me tell you, it might not look like the prettiest way of eating it, but scooping out the hazelnut center is just the best way, I'm telling you, team scoop all the way. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's been something completely different and I am now obsessed with go-karting and I wanna go for my birthday. I wanna go for all of my birthdays. I want to go all the time. My sister was like, we should go back and like practice one weekend so we can get better at it. And I 100% agree. We had such a whale of a time. So thank you so much to Kinder Bueno for partnering with me on this video because it was honestly amazing. And it was fun to have a sister day out. So I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video. I will be back on Sunday with a brand new video. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm telling you, it's the best way. <laughs>